Title for Lover and welcome to another Rev's Thought for the Week. A short message to offer you encouragement during this time of lockdown. Now some of you may notice something different about me. It's not the four and a half kilos I've put on since the start of lockdown. I'll give you a hint. That's right. Say hello to my little friend, Eminem. He's back. Mr. Mustache. Some of the students may be thinking, why, Rev? Why are you growing this? Well, it was actually for a surprise. Father's Day was last week, and my father had been carrying a moustache for the good end of 30 odd years. And so I thought I'd surprise the family online uh, growing a moustache. Well, the joke was on me, because my sisters were like, what are you doing? Let alone what my wife was saying. Anyway, during the week as I was teaching online classes, I noticed that the moustache was sparking a little bit of conversation. At the start of my class, I'd be logging in and students would be coming online and they'd be like, Rev, you've got a moustache, making jokes here and there. One student even said, oh, sir, you look like a 1980s WWF wrestler. I wasn't sure if that was a joke or not, or not. But anyway, this new thing that I tried actually gathered a little bit of positivity. And that's what I want to talk to you about today, is trying a new thing. Now I understand during this lockdown period, things can get a little mundane. The same thing over and over again. Waking up in the morning, going online, listening to your lessons, five periods, and then logging off, then going back to do some study at night. Things can be quite repetitive over and over again. Now I found by chance really that growing a moustache and trying something new with my classes actually created a different energy, a bit of a different vibe, a bit of positivity. And so I thought about this and if I could offer you that bit of encouragement this week, not to grow a moustache, but to try something new. You see, in the Bible here, we've got a God that does new things from the first chapter when he creates the heavens and the earth, right through to the last chapter. He's always doing something new. Something new in us, something new in the world. Now I want to read you a verse from the Bible. It's from Isaiah chapter 43. The people of Israel were feeling hopeless. Their nation had been taken over, their temple in Jerusalem had been destroyed, and they were exiled in a foreign land. And God speaks to the prophet and says this, Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. The encouragement from this is that God is doing new things and wants us to try new things as well. I wonder if you've ever thought about that. If we didn't try new things, I think we'd still be drinking baby milk and in nappies. Think about that. What about when you go to the restaurant and you get the same thing? every time. Why? Because you know that whatever you're having is good and you like it. And if you try something different, it might lead to disappointment. You might not like it. So you do the same thing over and over again. I think what this verse is telling us is to try something new. Try something new, which may bring a different element, a different perspective to our lives. I've always believed that trying something new can lead to a positive outcome, even if it's a bad experience, because you learn something. You learn what to do and what not to do, and so you can get something positive from it. In saying that, I think Mr. Mustache has run its course, and I can't pull it off as well as some other people. So to finish this word of encouragement today, I'm going to perform a little magic trick. Are you ready? I've got a bit of shaving cream over here. 
Give it a little shake. Here it goes. Got my towel and my moustache. Just like that, it's gonna be off. Whoa, ho, ho, there it is. It's a miracle. Well, students, my encouragement for this week is to try something new. It could be something very simple, like making mum and dad breakfast. It could be getting up an extra 30 or 40 minutes before your class starts to go for a walk or a run to get a bit of energy and oxygen around the body. You'll be surprised when you do try something new, how much perspective it can bring you especially when you're guided by the warmth, the hope, and the love of Jesus. Well, from myself and our senior chaplain, Reverend Gareth Waters, we hope you have a fantastic week. We're just bullet, and God bless. Tato Kato, the Atafayo to Tato Ariki, a Ukraiti, met the Aroha or Tato, at the Fishing Atai Tangaki, the Wadu Tapu, Ake, 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 Amine.